Yo, 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 everybody! Generic B here, and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. I'm still monkeying around with these awesome new uh, item frame and comparator setups in the snapshot. I am in snapshot 14W04A. And in the last uh, tutorial, we did a, uh, a combination lock using the item frames. Uh, this is another very useful very practical and super small and simple design that allows us to turn this thing into an eight, oh, what do you call this? Uh, a destination selector, or really it is turning this little, the positions of the item in the item frame into eight discrete signals. And you'll notice over here, we've, I've just got uh, eight torches up there. This is in position one, so the first one is on. Position two, second one, and you just see it goes on and on and on, all the way up to destination eight or position eight, and then it'll go back. So the way this works, it is uh, doing sort of like what we did with the combination lock. What we needed was a tileable way of being able to identify the signal coming out uh, of the comparator exactly what the strength of that signal is. And so you'll notice we've got two channels of redstone dust right here. This one right here is the actual strength of the, uh, of the comparator. So for instance, if we set this to three, you'll notice that three redstone dust are getting powered uh, from that comparator. And then we have another channel of redstone dust and that is uh, the signal strength minus one. So you'll notice it only goes one, two, and then bloop, right? And that is how we determine, at this point right here, is how we determine uh, what the signal strength is. So it's basically kind of subtracting uh, from itself. And so it is super simple to build. Let me go back and turn this, oh, hello. Nope, don't give me a sign. So I put it back on one, and all it is is it's tileable. We've got some blocks like this, got a redstone dust, redstone dust on top, got a repeater, got another repeater. I put this on three ticks just so it doesn't create any type of false positives around on this, and a torch right under there. And this torch is just the output. It's optional. You can have this guy, ooh, let me, uh, Grab a couple things here really quick. Ooh, ooh, and redstone does and ooh, ooh, perfect. You can have uh, this guy come out this way. You can put the torch there. You can have it go up. You can do a, a redstone tower up like this. Possibilities are endless. Does not matter. But so here's here's how it works essentially. At the signal that is the correct signal, so the, where, what makes the torch turn on, you'll notice that this redstone dust is powered, which is powering this block, powering the repeater, powering this, and turning that guy off, that redstone torch off, which is allowing this to turn on, right? Now, if you turn it up one more, you get two redstone dust. Uh, both of them are glowing, right? So that will now turn on this repeater which powers this block, which turns that back off. And then of course, in the event that both of these are off, you'll notice everything's off, turns the torch on, which turns that one off. And that is it. It is super simple. It allows you to have eight discrete outputs, all based off of that. Possibilities are endless. I'm thinking uh, this would be great if you wanted to do a, uh, a minecart station, and you said, I wanna go to my jungle base, boom put it in, go to town. Uh, you can also, if you wanted to, if you wanted to uh, hook up a button to this thing, you can do it exactly like I did in my, uh, in my other combination lock. You can just put a torch right here, stick a little bit of redstone dust right there, and then you'll notice everything's off. Let's put it on eight. Everything is still off, hit a button, bunk, it's on, it's off. Super simple, hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, it helps me out tremendously. And until next time, take care, brush your hair, 
I'll see you when I see you. Peace.